Here we have um, the bow, uh, well, I should say the bowsprit and the bow. Um, you can see that I've got it rigged. Um, there's a, you know, I've got the rig, you know, I've got some rigging blocks on uh, the bowsprit, um, double dolphin strike um, right there, and um, the chain going from the uh, center of those dolphin strikers uh, all the way down to the um, uh, the hull, uh, the bow of the hull. You know, and I got some lashing around the uh, bowsprit and uh, the um, bowsprit tied uh, tied off um, there, right through the uh, that little brass ring. Um, and then, of course, uh, now I'm I'm going to move on down to the you know the anchors. You know, I purchased these anchors uh, off a line somewhere. You know, and um, and I I do know I um, I need some uh, to do some touch up here and there. So you know. Try not to nick me too bad on that. Um, but uh, there's the cat head. I actually built those cat heads myself. Um, and uh, those are those rigging blocks on the cat head right there. They are, um, let's see if I can get a better look. Had them right there like that. Um, they're actually beads. I bought those from probably Walmart. Um, and they're really small glass beads, and I thought they looked really fantastic um, for the purpose I was using them on the cat heads. Um, bought those ladders. Now those ladders, uh, I bought them. They were 15 millimeter ladders, and I thought that was the height, <laughs> but in fact, I believe what it was was the width of the, which was perfect. The uh, it turned out uh, perfect as far as the you know 15 millimeter width but um, a little closer in there on there um, but the but the ladder was I mean I bought two of these ladders and they were probably about six inches long um, and truthfully if I, if I would have known that they were that long I would have never bought two of them so it cost me a little uh, money on that but not a big deal uh, you'll see in some of the um, screenshots that I'm those still shots that I have that the four deck actually had handrails or at least post put in them at one time and that's no longer the case um, what I do is I, I um, took off the old four deck that I built and replaced it because those uh, handrails or posts weren't working out and then you get that um, that ramp going up to the foredeck. You know, I built that uh, by hand myself. And um, then you got the chain uh, guides. Um, the chain, I went with a black chain instead of a uh, gold or brass looking chain to the anchors. Uh, just simply, you know, back to the windlass. Uh, just simply because I thought, you know, you're looking at iron and heavy usage back in the uh, colonial day, which this kind of is more representative of a colonial ship. Um, so I thought black would really set it off. And then I got the uh, bell housing. Now, bell housing I made myself. Um, and, uh, you know, I bought the, the bell. But uh, let's see if I can get over here behind it you know just to give you a good look on it you know and all that so and then um, of course you got the grating right there um, I put that grating down uh, really to match there wasn't going to be any grating right there uh, but in this area uh, when I painted that grating black right there um, it just made sense to go ahead and if I was going to put any more grading on it to go ahead and uh, make it uh, make it the same style and it looks it looks fantastic together and um, those companion ways those companion ways basically were just blocks of wood on the deck originally 
and you know I decorated them uh, with some planking and um, some border wood and um, in a you know a roofing uh, you know some those white planks right there is the roof um, and there's the holes I drilled for the mass you know uh, they were there in the sub deck but when I planked the deck you know she uh, she needed it uh, them re-drilled um, there was a steering wheel sitting on that little pylon right there on top of that planking oh excuse me that grating uh, but uh, I knocked it off. It didn't break. I just knocked it off. And since I'm working on some things that are really delicate, I left it off until it's time to, to put it back on. So I got some deck work. And here we have, and this is the same with the other side, those are for the davits for the lifeboat back there. I'm going to have a lifeboat off the uh, starboard side. Um lifeboat off the on davits on the um, port side and then one lifeboat right there on that center grating um, to set everything off and right here this is where I, you know I got my um, my blocks they're all set in the channels ready to roll um, and I got uh, I got oh, got these this set of blocks right here, um, they're they're sitting there ready to roll. Um, you, know, you can tell that she's um, she's very rustic looking, and it it took it took me a little bit to figure out how to actually paint her that way. I wanted her to look, you know, like she's been used, but with a uh, just with an updated paint job. And you know, I think I've I've really accomplished that. I don't know if you can see. You see how I got those nicks in the wood. Um, you know these stringers that I have right here. They weren't original, but when I chewed, you know, I, I took a chisel to the um, uh, original stringers, and I did chalk some wood out. And what I did was I that that's where I got the idea to just kind of, you know, instead of sanding all that out, to go ahead and. Uh, make her look really, really rustic, and I think I've really accomplished that. You see, you see that wood grain coming through um, right there. Um, all that was left on purpose, and some of that distress look I actually created myself just to to set it off that way. You know, I don't know. She just looks. She looks how I want her to look. <laughs> you know, and um, there ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, so. Uh, you can see that I got on the bow front on the yard arm here. Uh, holes drilled through it. Uh, same with the dolphin strikers. Um, yes, there's a lot of touch-up paint that needs to happen, like right there. Um, I need to paint that. I'm waiting for uh, me to get a f little bit further along before I start touching up the paint. Um, matter of fact, down here near the, the rudder, there's some paint I need to update that. Uh, I had to use clamps and they had a little uh, I don't know, white powder on that and uh, when I removed it, removed the clamp, it, it that powder just stuck into the paint but you know, but uh, right here's the rudder. Um, I was telling you that about the rudder. Um, let's see if I can get in closer. You can see the planking on it there again. I distressed the uh, got a little. I didn't even see that. Got a little touch of paint to do right there. Um, but um, I tried to make that as rustic as I could. Um, I'll put those hinges on those um, runner hinges, and um, I put this chain on. That's a pretty good shot of the chain right there. And. Uh, there's the hole in the, uh, in the in the stern that the um, there was a post that went through there and connected to the top part of this um, rudder and um, I removed that and I, I, I was going to keep it but then I chose not to um, but uh, here is the stand let me let me back up there we go 
There she is. But uh, let, me, let me show you the stand. I got some pictures, some still shots, but you see this? That is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, bought those from Ages of Sale. Um, unfortunately, they're plastic. That's what I don't like about them. Uh, these big, huge things are plastic. Um, these nautical dolphins. Um, they had some bronze ones, but they were expensive. And they're trying to keep the cost down. Most of the material that I've used on here, except for the parts like the the blocks, uh, the grating, um, the ladders, uh, anchors, um, and all that, most of the stuff I I already had. It was just wood that I had laying around, and I've applied it. What I'm working on now is the cannon wall. This right here was not going to have cannons. Uh, I wasn't going to have the Christopher Joe have cannons, but then I changed my mind when I found some off of eBay that I just absolutely couldn't refuse. Now, they were at a decent price. There was 12 of them. I wanted to make um, uh, the configuration of this ship instead of a sloop. I wanted it to be a brig. Uh, so that changes the mass configuration, and it's a brig of war which generally has 12 to 14 cannons on it. So, um, but this is the Christopher Joe. Um, I hope you uh, like it. Uh, if there's any questions you have about a specific part of the uh, of the ship, I know I was just showing you the, uh, the port side, but uh, you can tell um, it's still got that rustic look on the on this side, but I mirrored as much as I possibly could um, the efforts I did on the port side on the starboard side or vice versa um, and um, I'm quite pleased the way she uh, she's turning out um, this is my first wooden ship um, I decided to take an old antique pond boat and turn her into a colonial uh, two-masted vessel um, yeah, which is going to, uh, I'm trying to make her into a, a brig of war so um, there she is um, if anybody I would like to hear from people uh, make comments suggestions um, obviously that I've got her this far um, Anything you see, I'm probably not going to rip out, but I'll take suggestions. I, I can always learn something. I'm kind of new at uh, wooden models. Um, I've done plastic models before. Um, but this right here, I've built uh, most of everything on my own. Um, and hopefully the still shots that I show uh, will, uh, will show that as well. So, anyway, that's the Christopher Joe. And... Um, stay tuned for more videos uh, on the continuation of this build.